So what was the thought process into what you put into hip hop heads? Well, yeah, I found my own for everything. I won't, I won't, I won't, I'll never stop trying to create shit. But for the hip hop heads, I had the music already, except for one of the songs. I just made one song for that. All that is older music. That's actually older music than my Genesis collection. My Genesis collection is the behind bars, it's Louis Baby theme. And that's, in my opinion, my favorite overall collection of songs. This, this album though has my best full songs on it because those are just verses. Um, but yeah, um, hip hop heads started off honestly with Jared T. Jared T is the dopest dude and he came to me, he bought a few of my ILB, uh, Genesis collection NFTs. And he was like, bro, he's like, all we got to do is figure out how to give this audio some kind of rarity. He's like, why can't we just make it that there's an audio component that gives it a rarity. And at first we were going to store, score it like Avastars and make it like, uh, like, I guess like they would get a rarity score based on the overall traits. And then that would determine their song or their, their, their audio trait that they would get the song connected to. Um, but we ended up just realizing it was easier to just make audio traits out of the song. So we made 33 audio traits out of 10 different songs. And, you know, that was how we created this like new idea. Right. And this new idea was that you're going to have a PFP, but it's going to have an audio trait now, and it's going to be a part of a song. But people were, I, and I still think it's very ahead of its time. It, um, you know, people were very like, well, what does that mean? Will it be a random part? Will it be uh, like just a few words? Of course, I'm going to give you a, a structure of it. So it's going to be either a verse, a chorus, an intro or an outro. Um, and when you buy it, you're getting picture just a regular PFP NFT with visual traits and rarities. Um, you'll have the audio trait and rarities. Um, and so like that alone, I think like took people a little bit like confused. They like really couldn't get it. Go ahead. Sorry. No, no, you're right. I mean, you think about the PFPs how it exists today on Twitter. It is, it doesn't have that MySpace feature of being like you go to somebody's profile and you're playing an audio feature. You're just someone's taking that in visually, not, you know, from a from an audio standpoint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great point. I, I mean, and and at first when we were making them, we were like thinking of just making them still images and then make the audio like an extra step to get to. And then I was like, nah, fam, like we got, we about this audio NFT life. We got to be making audio NFTs. So that that was the that was a major step in the process. You know, at first it was create you know five thousand stills, right? Still images. Now it's create five thousand videos. So imagine the storage and the rendering that needs to be done. Excuse me. Um, for that kind of work. But yeah, so let's get into Hip Hop Heads though. Hip Hop Heads is my debut album as an NFT, um, dropped as a collection of 5,000 swagged out, hand-drawn, Hip Hop Head style looking profile pictures um, that come with an audio trait rarity component in addition to the classic visual PFP traits. This is not a PFP project. It's okay to think about it like that, but it's not. It's more than that. It's a music album. It has crazy utility. Um, it does have a roadmap that we are very early in and we haven't made it to a mark in the roadmap yet, but I'm still able to provide three pieces of utility, right? Or even, and it's going to be four soon. But we talked about authenticity earlier and that's what drew me to the project initially. I think that's honestly, other than like the ciphers and things like that, the first time I really paid attention to what you were doing. And, you know, when, when you're, you know, building in this space, I'm looking at Louie and saying, this guy is going to be one around for a while, but two, he's going to be seen as one of the OG and authentic people building in the space. That doesn't necessarily equal success in this space. Sometimes it's the exact fucking opposite. Sometimes you got to be shady as shit and working with all the shady people and you get a sellout instantly. And that, and that's, but that's what, that, that depends on your definition of success, right? Like straight up, I, we haven't even talked about the fact that I held the hip hop heads challenge that paid over 30 artists, over $2,000 in ETH. And I generated more money than I ever have generated in my entire life of any piece of music that I've ever made. And it's enough money to be, to like, if I had to live off of it, I could. And like that as an independent artist, although it's not a sold out PFP, I'm working, bro. Like everybody, like you don't even know, like the white listing that's about to go down for the hip hop head holders and the ILB holders, the people who own the first original shit. Like this is all being worked on. And I'm going to get into it in more details, but like that's the kind of shit, like I'm working. And this, this, 
this token is my social token. You know, people buy or, or not buy, artists make their social tokens. I'd rather have it in an NFT and guarantee utility through that technology because I prefer it that way. It's what I'm comfortable with. It's my game and I know how to control it. So that, that's what I view the token as. When you're buying a hip hop head for 0.03, which recently, and this is like, this is what you learn as a project lead. Like I'm a rapper. I'm not trying to lead a project the way you would think a normal PFP person would. But so like, I feel I, that to my soul, but go ahead. <laughs> right? Like, but like, I didn't even know it. On our contract, we have this feature where it's, it's actually lower gas. Like, like, and I don't understand the code, but it is. If you go, anybody who's watching this, put my money where my mouth is. You don't have to mint one. Go through the process of, of minting a hip hop head and put it compared to OpenSea versus anywhere else. And you will see that the gas is significantly lower at that same time on my site mm. than it is on, uh, on OpenSea or anybody else's. And that's fucking dope. You know, that's, that was a cool thing, but I wish I would have advertised that in the beginning of my, <laughs> my drop. <laughs>